Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 19 with me Craig Barton. Now I'm a little bit obsessed with spotting patterns in numbers, that's the kind of geek that I am and while students would probably never admit that themselves, I tend to find that once you give them some kind of activity that leads to some patterns and relationships being discovered, they absolutely love it. And that's why when I came across this resource, blank 100 grid number investigations uploaded by Stuart K, I just thought this is absolutely fantastic and I had to make it one of the resources of the week. Um, it's a PDF file, uh, just a single file, and it looks like this. And straight away I was hooked in because obviously the, there's no numbers actually on view here, just shadings. And there's some teacher notes provided at the end of this resource. And the basic idea that, that Stuart suggests that you do is that you give out students a 1 to 100 number grid, and there are some of those provided at the end. And then you get them to investigate why some of these numbers have been shaded and why they haven't. And can students write a little sentence or two about what all the shaded numbers have in common? And some of them are pretty obvious. So you might look at this and conclude pretty quickly that this is all the even numbers shaded, and perhaps that's all the odd numbers shaded. But then you get some absolutely fascinating patterns start to emerge. So what's going on with this one here, this, this fourth pattern down? And then what about this one here? And this is what started to intrigue me about this. Because as I started flicking through these, my kind of mathematical instincts started wondering why do some of these patterns have symmetry and why do some of them not have symmetry? And is there any relationships between the symmetry that they have? So for example, this pattern here with the diagonal line going down there, is that related in some way to this pattern here with the diagonal line going up? But then why on earth has this one got two little shaded bits popping around there? I feel a bit sorry for this one. He's only got four numbers shaded. What's going on with that one? And it was just intriguing me why the patterns are as they were. And as I said, there's some absolutely fascinating ones. So what I did with my year sevens was, as, uh, as the resource author suggests, is I gave them out the one to 100 grids and then gave them a, a selection of these, these shaded patterns to investigate. And then I asked them to group them together into patterns that are connected to each other and patterns that don't seem to be connected. And can they spot any themes and any relationships? What's special about the ones that have symmetry? What's special about the ones that don't have symmetry? And then of course, oh, well, what I should say um, is, and I always love this when there's a, a resource on tests that's like this, where you get the full answers provided as well, because that, that makes uh, my life a hell of a lot easier. So beautifully presented answers. And then the natural way I thought to extend this was to give the students a number grid themselves and get them to create their own patterns, their own shaded patterns. And then we had a great bit of time sharing them around the class and could students spot what was going on. And things like Fibonacci were popping out and then some students were loving the fact that the seven times table looked absolutely bizarre, but the more they shaded, uh, the more uh, patterns that they could see with it. And it was just a lovely, a lovely activity for not only getting students spotting patterns in numbers, and investigating relationships further, but also developing their quality of written communication because it wasn't easy sometimes for some of the students to actually express what the numbers had in common. They could say it and they could kind of describe it orally, but getting it down on paper was another matter. And it was really, it was fascinating reading their explanations and sharing them. So look, I had an absolutely wonderful time uh, doing this with my year sevens. And I think they had a great time in the lesson as well. And I'd strongly recommend you give that a go. So there it is, blank 100 grid number investigations, kindly uploaded by Stuart K. And if you do use the resource, then please pop back onto this page and just share your thoughts on it uh, in the section below. And I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.